Hey guys, Tanya here. It is Sunday morning about 1030. The weather is absolutely perfect for a day hike. Not too hot. It's a little bit cool. So that's what I'm going to do. Why don't you come along with me? It should be fun. What a great way to start the hike. I just saw those three beautiful deer. I think it was a little baby and two adults. They went this way. We'll see if we can find them. He's back there somewhere. He's gone. I haven't seen a person yet on this trail, which is interesting because this is a very well-traveled trailer trail. I see lots of bike tracks, footprints. I don't know where everybody is, but this is good for me. It's a nice solitude. Check out these cactus fruits. They're looking pretty good. It's about mid-September. I think this is the time to eat them. So maybe if I could find one later, I'll see if I could pick one and try it. This is a rare sight. This is this pond off of the trail. This is the trail that I'm on here. And the pond is over there to the left. Let's go check it out. Wow. Check this out. Oh man. Woo. I wonder if there's some tadpoles in there. Looks like there's some, some track marks there. It's just a big scummy mess, but an interesting find. All right, time to continue on. This is our trail here. I'm on the decline now. I think this is the end of this trail here, which I'm a little bit sad about because I want to keep on hiking, but I think if I continue down to the bottom of this trail, I can meet up with a paved road and that'll take me down to my car if I want to do that or I could backtrack the way I came so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet we'll see but this view is awesome awesome check it out let me just give you a panoramic view never too far from civilization of course there's some houses in the background a little reservoir and I think just past past those hills there that's the ocean and this is our trail look at this found some sage very distinct smell yep sage it's quite a bit of it here well before we get to the road I'm gonna see if I can grab one of these cactus roots there's plenty to choose from and I'm just here off of the trail so I won't be bushwhacking too much. Let's get one. Ow. <laughs> ah. Let's try this again. Success. Let's go sit down and try this. Did you guess that I got a bunch of those little thorns in my fingers? <laughs> You're right. And it hurts. Well, I'm still going to try this thing. I dropped it. That's okay. Let's try this. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, got a seed. Oh, wow. It is so sweet. Wow. Amazingly sweet. I don't know if I got a good one, though. It's hard to tell. I'm not that familiar with these fruits. If you are, are you, do you know if you're supposed to eat the seeds? I'm not certain. Mmm, mm, so sweet. Wow. Oh, crap. I just dropped it. Damn it. <laughs> that was a lot of work for a little bit of reward. Well, that was interesting. Really sweet, very seedy. Worth it. Ooh, I'll tell you what. Those little needles are sharp. Super, super sharp. As you can see, I decided to take the paved road down instead of doubling back on that trail. <sighs> That's nice. I'm really glad I was able to get out today, even just for a little bit. I thought it was a longer hike. 
on that trail that I was on, but that's okay. It's uh, quarter after 12, so I've been gone a little, almost a little over an hour and a half. Not too bad. I think when I get down to the parking lot, I'll see about getting some, some lunch. I was only on that paved road for a short while, maybe five minutes. Now it's back on the trail. I'm really irritated with myself. I'm on this damn trail. I feel a little something like biting me or stinging me on my left side underneath my, kind of by my arm, armpit. And I think I got stung by a bee, I'm not sure. Maybe a wasp, I don't know. I just checked and there's a little bit of a, a little <laughs> a prick mark. And I'm mad because I'm allergic to bees. And I have an EpiPen in my backpack. I feel fine right now, but I'm sort of freaking out a little bit. <laughs> Man, that's okay. At least I'm prepared, if need be. And yeah, you know, I saw something fly away. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not certain if it was a bee. <sighs> Damn it! <laughs> it's always something, isn't it? As I found this little picnic spot just off the trail, I, I thought I'd stop, maybe get something to eat, and <laughs> recompose myself a little bit. Alright, I think our water is just about, yep, it's done. So I'm going to, sorry about the noise, there's a, a road right here with a bunch of car traffic and motorbikes. I take this off, put out the flame, there it is, she's out, and ooh, it's hot, and put my, my stroganoff in here, it smells good, I haven't had this one of these mountain houses before, actually that's not true, I had a breakfast one. But I've never had a dinner or a lunch. Oh man, I think I added more than half. Oh well. Alright, so the directions say to let it sit. So I think I'm going to give it a stir here really quick. Oh, there we go. Our noodles are ready. It's pretty good. Well, it'd be helpful if I re fully retracted my spoon. I'm still a little freaked out about that insect is incident on the trail. I was totally freaked out. Let's give this a try. It's good. I'm going to enjoy my noodles and we'll see you in a bit. Cheers. I'm almost back to the car. When I was back at that little picnic area, I took a look at my side where that insect bit me and there's a little raised bump there and you could see the spot where he where he got me, but it's okay right now, no itching or anything like that. I feel okay, but I guess it could have been worse. But you know, that just underscores the fact that you should always be prepared with whatever you need on the trail. For me, it happens to be an EpiPen because I'm allergic to bees. But, yeah, it frightened me a little bit, but I'm okay now. Like I said, almost back to the car. All right, folks, I'm back to the parking lot. I had fun on this little day hike. I hope that you enjoyed coming along as well. We'll see you on the next one.